like and subscribe. <laughs> this is something that has been on my mind for quite some time when I see it. Uh, <clears throat> white judges and lawyers in Africa, in some countries, wear this colonial white wig. Why? These are the people, they are representative of the people who colonized and enslaved Africans. These people who wore those wigs back in those days did not represent justice. They represented savagery, savagery. They represented slavery and colonization and exploitation of African resources and people. Do they realize how stupid they look practicing law with that wig on? Africa, African, take off that wig. When I see, when any black person sees you with that wig on, they know that they are in trouble and that you are brainwashed and still have, have the mind of a person who is colonized and a worshiper of white supremacy. You have to be a worshiper of white supremacy to wear this nonsense. I mean, take it off. And if you live in a country where the judges and lawyers are wearing this, <coughs> excuse me, your country has got to be in trouble. Your country has got to be exploited if they're wearing this nonsense. I mean, that's all. I mean, this person who has his own spoke in front of the International Court of Justice today. And he spoke in support of Israel. And anytime you see a black man with this on, you know that black people are in trouble. Because you know he is not going to represent black people fairly because he's embarrassing himself and he is misrepresenting himself. So if you live in one of these countries, tell these guys to take this off. You are an embarrassment. You are in you are a worldwide embarrassment. It's like you it's like these people believe in this they're in some kind of movie. I mean, black people <clears throat> I don't think I just want to point this out. I don't think that I need to beat this, to beat this down. Just think about it. And if you live in that country, somebody tell them about this, please. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.